the demographics had a lot of students mm-hmm. and uh, mm-hmm. one of the questions i got from them was uh, around the terminology in ai today i know what is the art of figuring out what is the best algorithm that i can put to use to work along with data there is a difference between deep learning and machine learning okay and uh, this is uh, the, i i am trying to do my best so geni ai is generative ai what is that you can do with generative ai there are 30 billion 100 billion web pages and there are only 40000 words in english never knew that it was a you know culminate culminating effort of uh, neural networks yeah. Jana, I wanted to expand on the previous question. You spoke about ChatGPT in the power of computing and things like that. That actually brought me to a, a recent uh, experience that I had in uh, the Tamil Nadu government's Umagin event that I attended last Friday. Uh, the demographics had a lot of students, and uh, one of the questions I got from them was uh, around the terminology in AI today. For example, there is deep learning, there is neural network. then there is machine learning you are talking about data sciences and beyond that you are talking about generative ai and then there is an artificial general intelligence there is something called large language models and things like that truly how do you see this terminology in your experience uh, i know that every person everybody will have a perception on where things fall for example having come from a testing background myself my definition of functional and uh, non functional testing could be different from another person's definition of non functional and functional testing so i'm not trying to stir a controversy by saying what is right and what is wrong but rather um, asking this question to someone like you is a is a is a is a big learning experience for me because i wanted to understand how you see this terminology going from your experience and things like that so if you can shed some light that would be very helpful sure boss sure uh, um i have to admit the fact that there is a lot of consternation even amongst people who are at the at the leading edge of dealing with all this in mm. terms of there seems to be a fight right now in terms of using the right nomenclature right and i will do my best to make sure, sure. that i stay as uh, unbiased as possible sure. in uh, presenting my explanation to all these uh, terms that we have this is purely based on the experience that we have whatever that the world seems to have as a this new toy is based on deep learning infrastructure mm. the way the, the way we all want to uh, talk about that in the names of geni or ai if we take a step back and then open the hood it's all based on uh, a type of uh, uh, learning uh, system called this deep learning now because of the word deep learning does not mean that system goes deep about thinking something no there is a uh, if people are interested they should go take a look at this book uh, written by francois chole deep learning is a lot of hierarchical set of neural networks that are layered one after the other hence it is called as deep learning there is no deep thinking that makes deep learning one uh, one definition that i wanted to uh, get out of my chest there is a difference between deep learning and machine learning okay uh, this is as uh, i i am trying to do my best to make this dis- distinction because if you talk about machine learning if i have to bring in the example uh, that we all can understand what the work that we did for this large south indian bank mm. is based on machine learning algorithms that are out there Mm. and I'll name them I think it is time for time, time has come to clearly uh, present the winners it is either xg boost or random forest everything else if people come and then tell organizations i have i know what is the art of figuring out what is the best algorithm that i can put to use to work along with data i would ask you know the organizations to be very important to me from my knowledge the case is very clear the winners are out there as far as machine learning is concerned mm. if you have tabular data if you want to forecast what would be the month your customer would churn away from you and if you want to build a model to for to perform a forecast on on top of that you'll be using machine learning for that and the two clear winners that we know are xg boost and random forest okay does machine learning have any say in terms of how chat gpts are built or the 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 technical word llms are built to my knowledge no okay deep learning and machine learning they seem to be two different subsets who don't have a not too much of um, inclusivity be- between them they seem to be still operating in two different places some people try to get novel about this but mostly they are 
very different uh, systems something that uh, hope it helps mm. gen ai the the word the word is so cool that it seems like as if it is next gen ai right Ac- uh, you know the the actual terminology there is generative ai mm. and generative ai is a very good word i will accept that because anything that you want to do using deep learning is actually generation of tokens whether those tokens are text or pixels that would con- constitute an image or a video is left up to us as consumers but generation happens through a model that is built using deep learning infrastructure mm. so gen ai is generative ai what is it you can do with generative ai uh we should actually part of the uh, you know this video put a link to the great white paper that dj found out from aws right if i remember there are four things one is you can do solve productivity uh, problems for example if you got your invoice forms and if you want to activate data out of those invoice forms it's what intisa day is currently focusing on you can use genia to solve that problem mm. if you want to build interactive chatbots which were based on a, a very weird a technology choice for three or four years before gen ai can definitely solve right. the problem for you too three if you want to create get uh, get good about cre- creating content at scale mm. uh, i don't think we uh, human beings who are great writers can be replaced but if you want to get good at creating content at scale mm. in terms of both image mm. and text you can also use gen ai for that there was another thing i forgot we should definitely publish that link so that sure. people can take a uh, uh and take a give get access to that this is on genie most of the advancements that we see today in uh in the last one 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 and a half years is predominantly on lo- building great large language models and all these large language models are based on a specific deep learning algorithm called as transformers okay and it is just not the algorithm it is about marrying all the data that we have uh in the in the web I remember correctly i think it was 30 billion or 100 billion pages that are out there in the web right wow. now and uh, you should be all people should go learn, listen to stephen wolfram on this how chat gpt works there are 30 billion or 100 billion web pages and there are only 40000 words in english so we un- the idea is to see how we can build a good large language model that has that has the ability to use these 40000 words along with this hundreds and billions of pages so that it can use a combination of these two and then every time when you submit a request it knows how to juxtapose these two and then give you an answer correct so all the large all sorts of noise that is coming right now is predominantly llm but for us since we solve enterprise problems we are going after an another type of a model called as large visual models because we are and trying to replicate what human eye is so good at doing which is to see patterns and then and then convert them into text okay so you look at an invoice number don't use ocr but use what your eye will do and then directly translate that to a a a, a character okay. one of the applications of large visual models is to get that done so basically we are doing data activation activate data that is in the form of text using large uh, uh, visual models which is captured in pixels we are eventually going to also do audio activation which is you listen to audio mm. and then transcribe that to text pick the commands out of the text and then execute workflow functions if i have to put it that way that is where we are going after as large audio models okay so it's llm lvm and lam i hope i have given some context on yes. that i hope i have given some context on deep learning and i have also i also given some context yes. on machine learning yes all said and done unless in other ways we have proper engineering background to address all of this enterprises will not be able to make uh, anything out of this was yeah. that's my summary thank you jana i actually wanted to get to the question of enterprises which i will reserve for the sure. future but sure. uh, this is a great summary because i always thought deep uh, learning means the system is thinking deep actually no, i never knew that it was a you know culminate culminate effort of uh, neural networks yeah. right i have one more thing i'll make an effort uh but the youth while make an effort let's see if it comes out no system today that we have whether it is open ai or uh, perplexity or uh, gemini they don't have the ability to self learn oh. which is what we humans are great at doing so 
this is my personal understanding learning has two functions also one is being able to do something novel with what you have as historical uh, context as human beings we are really good at doing novel things the other one is doing what you have done before as a repetitive function but do it without lesser error i think intelligence is a combination of both novelty and being able to do what you are good at repetitively over and over and over again i don't think learning as an act is something that all said and done gen a and a are correct the systems do we always get this question from our customers which is how are you going to build a system that learns itself entire world doesn't know <laughs> the learning that happens whether it is open ai or any other uh, any of these functions is they take all the data that they have and then they set gpus on top of algorithms to run probably burning uh, billions of dollars in a span of month mm. build these large models and then put those models like how we have databases that people can access and then right. write query to right. that is how this infrastructure is still set there is no feedback loop that we so we human beings are so good at doing learning in an instant okay. again the learning has multiple connotations uh, uh, like one it's typically how we teach a child about something that's also a learning and there are like let's take the examples of ramanuja right i mean in that movie uh, per se how do you know how to solve this theorem because i haven't thought it mathematician ramanuja Ra- oh, okay. mathematician ramanuja okay he just said saying i don't know i just know uh, very intuitive very intuitive so most systems are thought like a child in mm. some way or other go and look at this or if i right now map this data to this going forward consider this data to be the answer for this question or mm. this kvp mm. uh, key value mm. pair mm. that's one sort of learning the intuitive learning it's still not there right, uh, right? and it's it's a, it's a long way so anybody who says you know we have self learning actually there is an input that goes in using which the system learns mm. which is not the perception that has been taken by the prospects or the customers right. Yeah, right. and they are right. not willing to bite it hey they say that it has self learning capability actually not you are providing input Correct. it's just that you don't know that is why it is learning because that's the sort of you know uh, information parting we as uh, partners with the customers we do to make them also understand so that the transition or the project happens very very smoothly because when both party understands what is that we are doing why we are doing then the success of the project is yeah. much much uh, you know faster clearer rather than uh